Welcome to Seton Carnell Spotlight, where only the best of the best get to shine. I'm your host, Colby Cox, and today we have very special guests with us today. They are uh, seniors graduating uh, this coming year in 2019. They are uh, varsity volleyball players and have made a, made a name for themselves in that. They are Taylor Hager and Paige Claney. Welcome on, guys. Thank you. So, um, so uh, tell me what your positions are uh, in the, the team. I'm the libero. Okay. And I'm a middle hitter. Middle hitter? Yes. All right. So um, what, what significance does uh, do those play in volleyball? So the libero will go in for the middle hitter when right. they're in back row. So I'll play back row all the game. Right. And I only play front row and only in the middle. So I usually just block and hit because and, I'm not very good at back row like she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what are uh, your career stats overall? In volleyball? Um, I know that I have 460 digs for this season mm -hmm. and over a thousand for my career, but oh, I'm wow. not exactly sure. It's pretty big. What about you, Paige? Um, I have 180 kills this year, and oh. um, for my career, I have over 100 blocks. Wow, those are all pretty good numbers. So, overall, how would you say your experience of playing volleyball for Seton is? Um, I'd say it's been great. Um, all of the years we've had like no drama on our team. That's always a good thing. And um, coach is just a great coach. She's a great role model for young people, and that's just been really good. I agree with Taylor. I just think that um, being able to play with a team that has no drama is really nice, and like that it's not that big of a team, so we all get really close. Right. And you talk about your coach. You would say, would you say that your that your coach has uh, made a very positive impact on you both? Oh, I think so, definitely. She, she can be hard on us, but she always pushes us to be um, better in the game, and she even pushes us to be better leaders and better people, which I think is great. Right. What about you, Paige? What do you think? Um, you know, I, I really like having coaches that push for us to be better, and I think that she's been one of the main ones because, you know, I've been with her for all four years, and... It's just nice to be close with her and have her as a friend, as as like also as a coach. Right, that's good. Um, what would you say would be your most memorable memorable game in playing for Seton? Um, I would say the first time that we played Richmond was my most memorable game. Mm -hmm. I remember game. walking back to serve on game point, getting super dizzy, and then calling a timeout, being like, and I was like, whoa, like this is big. <laughs> this is playing for a school. So that's my favorite. Um, I think that mine was Liberty Christian this year. Mm -hmm. It was a really big game, and um, with us having like a rebuilding year, uh, it was really a good game, and we were really all together and playing well as a team. So I think that's why I liked it the most. Right. Um, so I, how, how do you feel about your team? Do you feel like you guys work together pretty well to achieve your goals? I think so. Yeah, I think that in the beginning it was hard and because we haven't played with each other ever and we've always grown up playing with the older girls that graduated last year so I think it took a couple of games and we finally have gelled and we're really just a team that's together all the way through it right so um so as volleyball players and as seniors very you play varsity very important um you guys basically run volley for the cure am I correct so, um, do you enjoy running Volley for the Cure? I think so. I think it's a really fun experience to be able to like do the lock-in and have fun with all the little kids and then, you know, play a big game where everyone comes out and it's not only supporting our team but supporting an important cause. Right. So, um, tell us about it. Uh, what do you guys uh, usually like to do for Volley for the Cure? What usually happens? So, we have our meeting and we talk about what we want to do and normally we decide that we're going to do our annual lock-in right. which is our number one thing it's so much fun we have all the girls come into the gym their parents can go out and do whatever and right. um, we feed them and we play games with them we paint faces paint nails do hair a bunch of girl stuff <laughs> um, we also have certain raffles that go on during the game to raise money so that's another one. Oh, and our shirts we sell t-shirts so that, which match the jerseys for the right. game, so that everyone can support that night. Right. 
Um, how much money did you guys raise this year? Uh, we raised over 2000 I'm pretty sure. I'm not wow. sure an exact number, but definitely over 2000 That's definitely good, especially for the cause of All for the Cure is fighting for. Um, so after you leave Seton, what are your uh, uh, plans for college? Do you plan on pursuing any more volleyball? What, what do you have planned for yourselves after Seton? I personally don't have any plans for volleyball, but um, I'm planning to go to a somewhat local school and um, major in nursing, and that's what I'm going to do. Sounds great. Um, I am not really that interested in playing, but if I got the opportunity, I think that, you know, I'd think hard and might take it. Um, but I plan on just going to college and majoring in psychology. Sounds good. Um, so before we uh, close off the interview, do you have any advice for any uh, of your current teammates that will be playing next year after you graduate or just future volleyball players for Seton in general? Yeah, I would say have fun, stay positive, don't get down on yourself, it's just a game and if um, you're struggling, just know that, hey, you can do it, it'll always get better. All right, sounds good. I think one of the most important things um, that I would say is to like work really hard, and but make sure that you're also having fun and creating friends, because that's been a huge part of my high school, is being able to play sports and have that as like not only being in school and learning, but having something else to do. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank you. All right. This has uh, been Seton Carnell Spotlight, an interview with uh, Taylor Hager and Paige Claney. For more information on Seton Athletic athletics visit www.setonschools.org and be sh and if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe to the official Seton Catholic Schools YouTube channel I'm Colby Cox signing off